Welcome. In this video, we are going to discuss the concept of plagiarism, what it is, why it's important, and how to avoid it. This video is intended for English language learners, though other students might also find it useful. By the end of this video, you should be able to give a definition of plagiarism and state some common examples of plagiarism, explain why it's important to cite your sources and avoid plagiarism, and list some strategies to avoid plagiarizing. Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines the word plagiarize as to steal and pass off the ideas or words of another as one's own, and to commit literary theft, present as new and original an idea or product derived from an existing source. Note the words steal and theft. Words and ideas are considered intellectual property and can be stolen just like physical property such as a cell phone or wallet. Carl Sandburg College has its own definition of plagiarism, presenting the words or ideas of someone else as your own without proper acknowledgement of the source. Note here the phrase proper acknowledgement. You can and should use the ideas of other people in your work. Research is about combining what other people have thought and written with your own thoughts and words. However, you must tell your reader exactly which ideas belong to you and which belong to others. This list from the University of Illinois Library shows some common examples of plagiarism. Copying the words of others, whether from a source or from another student. Putting your name on a paper written by someone else purchasing or downloading a paper from the internet and turning it in, paraphrasing or rewriting in your own words a source and not documenting it, not using quotation marks properly when using material from another source. Now that we know what plagiarism is and have seen some examples of plagiarism, let's talk about why this concept is important. As we saw in the dictionary definition, in American culture, a person's words and ideas belong to them, and using those words or ideas without acknowledging their owner is considered to be the same as stealing. Depending on where you're from, this concept might seem very strange. However, understanding how plagiarism is perceived is crucial to success in American higher education. Committing plagiarism can have serious consequences like receiving a failing grade on an assignment or in a course. A continued pattern of plagiarism could get you expelled from the college. There are other reasons why it's important to properly cite your sources in addition to the serious consequences of not doing so. Crediting your sources makes it easier for your reader to understand and use your research. If they're interested in an idea that you cite, they can easily find that source to read more. Citing your sources also helps your reader believe what you say in your paper, because it's obvious that you are basing your paper on research rather than inventing information. Now that we know what plagiarism is and understand its importance, let's discuss some ways to avoid committing plagiarism. Firstly, give yourself plenty of time to do your research and write your paper. Start working on your assignment as soon as you are given it, so you have plenty of time to work and get help. If you start to feel rushed, remember that your instructors care about your work and learning. It's better to submit an essay that is incomplete or imperfect, but which genuinely reflects your abilities, than to submit one which is much better written because it has been plagiarized. The Purdue Online Writing Lab, often called the Purdue OWL, recommends working with printed sources. Many students commit plagiarism by copying and pasting from online sources and then accidentally or purposefully forgetting to cite this material as a quotation. If you use printed sources, this is less likely to happen to you. You can find printed sources such as books and journals in the library. If you do find sources online, print them out and work from the printed copy. Another suggestion from the Purdue OWL is to take notes about your sources in your own words, then use these notes, rather than the source itself, 
when you start writing your paper. Remember that even when you put someone else's ideas into your own words, you still need to give credit to the person whose idea you used. Again, avoid copying and pasting material from your source directly into your paper. Finally, ask for help. Giving proper credit to sources can be confusing for even the most experienced researcher. Your instructor, the college librarians, and the tutoring center staff can all help you. Asking questions and getting help from these experts are normal parts of the learning process which you should take full advantage of. To review what we've learned, plagiarism or using another person's words or ideas without giving them credit is stealing. Failing to properly cite your sources can have serious consequences, while giving your sources credit helps your reader. Suggestions for avoiding plagiarism include giving yourself enough time to work, taking notes about your sources in your own words, and using these notes when writing your paper using printed rather than electronic sources, and asking for help when you need it. The sources listed here were used in the making of this presentation. They are excellent resources for further information about plagiarism and how to avoid it.